Hi guys, Goofy Noofy here. Welcome to the Goofy Noofy Show. This episode is a review video. I'm going to do a review on the 2017 GMC Terrain SLE1 all-wheel drive with a four-cylinder engine. <clears throat> okay. So as you guys know, in if you've checked out any of my other videos, I bought this vehicle for my wife for our anniversary. Um, we needed another vehicle. I was sideswiped in our car and it was written off. It's no good to us no more. And the only other vehicle we had was a pickup truck. And the truck is not really a family vehicle. So... I took over the truck and I went to the GMC dealership here in Medicine Hat and uh, with the intention of buying a used vehicle uh, but then I kind of thought about it and it, it was better for me and my family to, to just buy new. You get all the dis all the the warranties and plus there was incentives like to, to, I got zero zero percent financing for eighty four eighty two or eighty four months something like that so the entire time I'm paying for the car I'm not paying any interest on my finance so <clears throat> that's a perk um, it it cost me forty thousand dollars to buy this. SUV, but that's buying brand new. Uh, Forty thousand dollars for an SUV, I think is pretty good. Uh, the interior of this SUV is awesome. That's all I can describe it as. The seats are unreal. It's so comfortable. They, the way they they hug your ribs and everything, it's like you're in a sports car. Like even driving this thing. <clears throat> you feel like you're in a sports car. You you are sitting a little higher higher off the road, but um, because it is an SUV, but just the way you're just tight into this vehicle and the, the way the steering wheel is and the handling, it's just so nice and sporty. Um, the seat the seats are like a a, a, a nice holy mesh over top. Of a really nice fabric so it makes them look real nice I'll take you guys on a tour of the vehicle here after uh, I'm done with the review here uh, so you'll get to see what I'm talking about but uh, like the interior in this vehicle is the same as what you get in the Denali version so there you have it with the interior um, it has a nice little screen um, I checked it online and a few other areas on sites online and they a lot of places say that one of the some of the cons for this vehicle are if you had the four cylinder it it feels like it's lacking. It kind of does if you have the eco button pushed because the eco button it restricts the the act the what you can do with your gas pedal and what your transmission and engine will do. So you punch on that gas, it's not gonna give you that good jolt back into your seat and launch it. It it still does, but it's not gonna do the same if you didn't have eco pushed. <clears throat> eco just restricts your engine and transmission to kind of help you out a bit. That's about it. We're we're careful with our vehicle because it's brand new and we have our kids with us. The kids are our life. And we're there to protect them. And this thing, the safety things in this are are wicked. Like, it's got airbags all over everywhere. And it senses the, whether or not there's a passenger in there. And it, it enables that airbag if there's a passenger in there. Which is nice. Uh, uh, one, one, another one of the negatives is the touch screen. They said it was too far away. Me and my wife, we we are of course pretty tall. I'm six foot one and a half or so. My wife is five eleven, I think. Um, we have no troubles reaching a screen. It's not that far. It's it's, it's arm's length. It's not far. <clears throat> but 
and uh, the the little shifter on the ground your 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 shifter is down here on your side and it's got the, the automatic and the manual so you can flick it into the manual transmission and you got your plus and minus on the top of your uh, uh, shifter for up and down for your shifts there's no tr no clutch for those of you who are wondering these new automatics you do not require a clutch when you put them in manual it's just shifting up and down on your own like a regular manual will do you're just controlling the shift yourself that's all uh, but this this SUV is so nice to drive I love it so does my wife we've already had one good snow down here and she had to take it in the morning to go and bring the kids to school and she said that the, she had no stress whatsoever when she drove it uh, it doesn't even have winter tires on it. It's just because we got the all-wheel drive version of it. It's not overly big. It's it's a decent size. It's the perfect family size SUV. The Terrain SLE 1, SLE 2, whichever one you want to get. Oh, it's just the engine upgrades and different things. SLE 2, I think, has... Uh, you get a sunroof and, and uh, probably the <clears throat> six-cylinder package. If you get the six-cylinder, it's considered one of the fastest SUVs on the market especially for its size but we only got the four cylinder because we're not out for speed we're we want a fuel economy we want to save money as much as we can and it's saving us money on fuel uh, we got our insurance at back after we took the car off the insurance and put the SUV on the insurance we're still saving money our insurance has gone down on a twenty dollars and just to let you know, we've always had full coverage on all of our vehicles. <clears throat> and uh, it's, it's awesome. Um, anybody who's looking for an SUV and you guys like GMC, the terrain is where to go. Unless you want something overly huge, then go for the Acadia. But. Uh, I don't know about the Acadia. I've never even driven in it. I don't know what it's like, so I can't say. But I can say that the GMC Terrain is a very comfortable ride. Uh, we have yet to take it on the highway. We have had it on the highway a little bit, going to and from here in town. It's faster. But uh, our, we have the, we're making a trip to Brooks, which is about an hour away from here on the highway. And we're, we'll really get a good test of what it's like on the highway when we... Uh, do that but otherwise it's even nice and quiet on the inside <clears throat> it has a six speaker system the sub does not work as a sub the sub is used for noise cancellation so you don't hear that road noise as much <clears throat> it doesn't put out any bass there's nothing you can do to make that sub put out bass nothing Unless you're a genius when it comes to car audio and you can rewire this thing through different ways through the vehicle or whatever, there, there's nothing you can do about it. And the sound system in it is pretty good. It it's thumps pretty good when you put it up to 20. But anyways, guys, that's my review. Uh, I'll take you for a tour of the vehicle here now and uh, catch you on the flip side. Guys, right now I got uh, both cameras going I got my phone going and the camcorder um, I'm gonna do the transition between the two so you get a real good view of how the different uh, video and sound is okay one two three now okay the other video was the my phone it was uh, Samsung Galaxy S6 was the <laughs> camcorder now I have uh, my Canon HFR 500 and this is what I think I'm going to start using as my new camera and here is my the GMC the Tornel. Let's unlock it, here's the keys quite a nice little thing, it's got the little for the key, to unlock Unlock all the doors by hitting twice. <clears throat> Let's do a walk around real quick. 18 inch rims, nice factory. Sorry about the wind guys, I don't have a wind sock. Or whatever you want to call them. 
it's a little bit dirty we had a bit of snow come down recently so it hasn't been washed but uh, as you can tell it's still uh, pretty nice okay let's go inside and uh, <clears throat> have a look at the brains and the interior oh I love these seats by the way guys you can't you can't really tell the texture of them from the camera not too bad you can see it's like a mesh over top it's nice and the red stitching really nice that's the back Got the baby seat in there for Jeremy water bottle and it's way in the back and I'm gonna climb in here so you can check out some of the stuff in here nice steering wheel as you can see here it has all your cruise control settings and stuff this is nice for your speeds <clears throat> over here you have for your phone and for radio and stuff and uh, yeah let's see I'll put in the key I'll power windows so you can get a good look at the, the brain There's what we've got on it so far. Valued at $150. So uh, I'm nearly done here, but they're gonna stay. This is what it is. It says it, it says in the reviews and stuff that it's hard to reach this. I'm using my opposite hand right now, which is and I can still reach. And this is a touch screen. We still had the plastic on it, we haven't taken it off, but as you can see, we got um, a serious radio for uh, a little bit. Uh, it's only temporary, a couple months use. There's uh, some of the controls. You got uh, different configurations for the vehicles and stuff, and or you can use these buttons even. Here, your vehicle info. I'll show you what these buttons do over here. If they'll do anything, no, I guess the vehicle has to be turned on. But those two buttons here, all this vehicle info buttons, they show up right here on this screen. It'll go through your miles per gallon or your kilometers per gallon, liter or whatever, your fuel mileage. It shows your all your different things, your trip meters and all that. Like, look at the size of this compartment in front of the shifter. Like this, oh yeah, here, this is your plus minus for your uh, your manual. It's an automatic manual type dealy. There's no clutch or nothing, as you can see, just a brake and gas. It's just up and down shift, just like a regular automatic would. Nice cup holders. They actually, on this side, you can't see right now, but there's a light that shines right there when so, uh, when it's dark. And you got your, your eco, your, uh, that's your traction control button right there, your eco button right there, easy access buttons, nice, I like it. And this, this has, oh yeah, built in. It has the audio jack and a USB, and look how big this compartment is. Like, this compartment is huge. You can fit two, three one liter pop bottles in here, or two two liters, like, this compartment is massive. And then it's got this removable tray, which is pretty big itself. It's just awesome storage. And here's your glove box. Oh, look at that. You see? Slow. Slow move. It's huge. Huge glove box. Yeah, and here's your... Uh, let's see if you can see these there. Your OnStar and your SOS and all that other stuff. And up here you have your, your lights and everything right here. It, uh, it senses after someone in your passenger seat and it'll show up there that your passenger seat airbag is on. If there's no one there, it won't show up. It's nice. A little tweeter speaker. This is for your OnStar and stuff here, guys. Up above your head. Pretty neat. Oh, and they all come standard with backup cameras. As soon as this thing goes in reverse, the backup camera comes on there. It's, it's, I'm going to... Well, I think the whole time that freaking music's been going, and I can't use any of that because, uh, okay, let's do this without the music. Okay, here's your, uh, uh, the menus. Show you here, nothing there, navigation is not equipped on this one. 
timer for your trip, your vehicle's average speed, your kilometers, fuel mileage, fuel range, your trips, speed. This shows your uh, backup camera. I'll put it in reverse so you can see it. There you go. There's your backup camera. And it turns with your steering wheel. See? I'm turning the wheel, so is the camera. Neat, eh? <clears throat> yeah, all your stuff there. I'll shut her off now. Don't need it running. So yeah, that's the, the brains. As you can see, <clears throat> now I'll uh, come around to the back and show you how much space is in the back. Oh, I love how nice everything closes. Back seats. Look at all that space. Like, the foot space is huge. Plastic. Easier to clean when he kicks his dirty feet on it. This part here isn't, but this part is. And there's storage for magazines on both sides. Like, there's so much space in this. Down here, it's a lighter plug for power. Child lock, so they can't open the doors. Oh, close it so nice. And here's your backup camera, guys. Right here. <coughs> it's rear washer. Rear. And look at all that space. Like, it's huge. There is a sub right here, but it doesn't actually put out any base. The sub is used for uh, noise cancellation purposes only. Hooks for child seats. Cubby hole, there's some restraints that comes with it. Another lighter plug. Hooks. <coughs> Big space down there. That's our uh, little vacuum. We got that ourselves. Another storage over here. And then Velcro. And there's the spare tire and the jack and all that other stuff. And it's all encased in styrofoam. Nice. And there's a handle right there. This one comes with a spoiler. Oh! That concludes that, guys. And it comes automatic with the mo vehicle immobilization and all that other stuff and the alarm. And just hit the lock button twice. Armed. Hope you enjoyed this video, guys. Thanks for tuning in to the Goofy Noofy Show. Uh, it's wrapped under my hand still. <clears throat> Thanks for watching the Goofy Noofy Show, guys. Um, hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up. Uh, leave some comments. Subscribe to my channel, please. And uh, bye bye for now. Well, that's it for it, guys. I hope you liked that video, and check out these other ones, eh? I dare ya. They're pretty good. Hope you left some good comments. Hit the thumbs up. Left the subscribe. Thank you very much. Bye-bye for now.